something. Uh, and, and maybe slow your brain for three years. Uh, I'll lock that bin in, unfortunately. <laughs> if I hit um, record, it's a couple of seconds faster. But yeah, it wouldn't have made any sense cutting it halfway through. <laughs> yes. Hello, this is That's another uh, This is another episode of... What did we end up deciding on calling it? Uh, it was Cutter and Crow's Frontier Scum Adventure? I don't know. Yeah, we can do better than that, though. We'll think of something. We can. Or yeah. I, maybe we can't. Maybe that's we, maybe we gave up for a reason. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, um, last episode had our filthy frontier scum meeting each other on a train where they are going to be processed, possibly into you know prisoners or possibly into foodstuffs. We don't know, but. They're aboard the the Oregon Trail or Express. Oregon Express, I think, is what it is. Anyway, it's a train that billows out billows out red smoke. And there are a number of um there are a number of different theories on why that is. But anyway, uh there was some bloodshed on our last episode. Um an old woman's toe was cut off. Um I think Jordan's character has old lady teeth embedded in her arm. <laughs> um, some baboons killed some people. There's an animal rebellion going on. Oh my god! Yeah, was, yeah. We are currently cow. following a cow, a very <laughs> yeah. um, eloquent cow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, nobody really knows a lot about anyone else. They just know that they want to get off this train. Um, all of your personal effects have been taken too, so you have to be able to find those, or you have to you have to find those at some point. If unless you just want to start over, you know, start a new life and leave your worldly possessions behind, it's up to you, I guess. But that sounds boring. Who the hell wants to do that? So, I don't know. Yeah, the like that. urine has some sentimental value. I haven't collected it for years. <laughs> oh my god! I feel like coyote urine would be just completely oh, repugnant, and yeah. like I feel like it'd be so horrible that like you would never get it out of whatever it got spilled on, you know? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is a game about cowboys <laughs> and cowgirls and boy cows, cows and cows and, and girl cows. Yeah. And girl yeah. cow. I like cows. I think cows are really cool animals. They're yeah. uh, they're they're more intelligent and that you know than most people think, and they have complex social hierarchies. That include you know? balance. In this case, yes, but you can see if you understand the mind of a cow, you can see how that would be appealing to a creature like a baboon. Like they'd make a good team, you know. Because they're both pretty smart. Although I'd say that a baboon is smarter than a cow. From what I know about cows, which is surprisingly a lot, a lot for someone who looks like me, uh, if you were a male cow, the train would already be derailed. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd be over. <laughs> yeah, over. everyone would be dead for sure. Like, bulls just be, are fucking crazy. It'd just be, yeah, wrecking the whole place. It'd just be a bloodbath. Cool. Anyway, what are we doing in this train? <laughs> I don't know. Are we still? Uh, uh, is, yeah, uh, we cut that part out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, where we last left off, um, well, should I wait for her to get back? She's right there. there, man. You can see. Oh, her. I can't see because my camera keeps going. It doesn't show me everyone at once. It like travels around yeah. and shows me. That's, that's what mine does. Too. It you doesn't can go up to the top right. You can see easily you do that. Right, the top right. Gallery, not speaker. The gallery. You can see I don't think I think I have dementia. <laughs> Which I probably do. I don't know. Wait, how, what do I do? Am I? Yeah, I just, go to right. Are you, are you top right? 
and click on it. Click on gallery, you, not speaker. How do you fix this? Damn thing? <laughs> John, are you on a phone? Yeah. Just swipe left or right. There's a little, there's three dots at the bottom. My God. <laughs> you learn something new every day. I'm, I'm, <laughs> we've been doing this show for like four years, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, I've, you know, I've, um, I've taken some supplements, and I'm a little, um, <laughs> I'm a little different than I am normally. So my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little different. But uh, yes. So anyway, <laughs> aboard the pain train, you guys. Uh, I think we last left off when you guys found like the. Um, the bedding area of the of the uh, guards and a baboon was shot unfortunately but the other baboons um brought some frontier justice to that uh that uh filthy cretin fuck yeah <laughs> that was me spitting into a spittoon right <laughs> Kevin will add a, a spittoon down effect in post. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. My grandmother had those all around the house, so she wouldn't have to carry around a little a cup for the spit, you know? Really? <laughs> she had them just, she would just walk from one room to the next. There's just one, there's one in every room. She would just. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. I love that. That's so, uh... <laughs> that's pretty classic. Of your grandma. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, cool grandmas aside. <laughs> Gris, uh, what is your character's name? Wimsley. Wimsley. I forgot. Wimsley. Water dash pits, please. <laughs> you uh, are the most well dressed and put together, well clothed um, prisoner aboard this. Train and you see some guys and a gal get let out of a cell by a cow and some baboons. And uh, one of the baboons unlocks the door to your cell as well. And what will you do? I'm gonna poke my head out and kind of look around, and see what's going on. Um, at one end of the of the car, there is a dead man whose face and neck have been savagely torn to shreds by exceptionally large and vicious monkeys. To the right? Yeah. To to the... Well, okay. So, to the left would be where... Or at least as far as how I'm imagining it in my... Oh, wait. No, you're across from them. From them so, it would be to the right. Yes. Because your, uh, your cell was across from there. On the other yeah. side. Okay. On the yeah. side of the street. And what do I see to the left? Um, you see a little bit of animal shit and some <clears throat> straw. Um, you guess that that's the direction that the animals came from, so it's probably like where they were keeping the livestock and stuff. It's being moved. I'm going to run over to the body really quick and see if I can loot it for anything. Oh, yes, you can loot it, all right. Let me bring up that loot table. Get your dice ready. Which one? Filthy bandit. I believe it's 2D6. Oh, there we go. There used to be this um, very large and androgynous older person who had a very obese pug named Bandit. And every time I saw that person outside, they would always be yelling at Bandit and Bandit would just be ignoring them the whole time. <laughs> and the person sounded like, this is, I, I, this is, I'm not trying to make fun of them. This is just literally what they sounded like. Come here, Bandit. <laughs> they had just the strangest, cartooniest, like... <laughs> You know, it's very strange. Okay, uh, so 2D, 
2d6. I got seven. Seven? You can't have seven. So it two separate numbers. So one's the first the oh. number, one's the second number. Yeah, you can have a one and a six. You, you told him two d six instead of sixty six. Five and a two, so fifty two. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Yeah. Now you have my dementia, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get this time? You can't. Fifty two. Fifty two. Fifty two. What will you do? You will have a flip lighter. Oh, perfect. Like a Zippo? Yes. An old timey Zippo. Which I, I bet I bet Zippos really haven't changed much in design over the They have not. No, oh, yeah. Does it have a slider and some fuel. And there you go. Yeah, does it have um like fluid in it or is it just empty? Dry? Yes, it does. It does indeed have fluid. Empty and dry, just like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. <laughs> that body humor. <laughs> all right. Um. So I'll grab that. That's all I found on him. Yeah, he didn't have anything else. Okay. Do I see anything else in the area aside from the poop I saw from the left? Uh, not really. There's not really a lot in this room. It's just this, just where the prison cells are. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. So, what way would you like to go? I'm gonna go. Away from the poop. Okay. So you to the right. where the dead guy just is. Keep going to the right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just then, everyone who was in the barracks. You hear a door opening behind you, and you see a sharply dressed man emerge. Or not emerge, enter. Virginia. I guess I'm just gonna I'm just he walks gonna and says, go with Virginia. it. Like <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to be true to myself and point my gun as soon as I see somebody come through that door. I respect that. You know, being true to your heart, like because I, because I don't, I don't know that that's Corey. I guess if I really think about yeah. it, yeah, <laughs> I've never been to Virginia. Yeah, nor I. He's I never been to Virginia, know. so as far as I'm concerned, it ain't real. <laughs> I ain't never say, been to Virginia. Ex exactly, <laughs> like what he said. That's what I'm. That exactly. <laughs> You're gonna say that to him? Yes. <laughs> You too, huh? Yeah, no, no. I, I, people keep telling me that it's great, but how do I know? Boulder Dash, you are greeted with a pistol being aimed directly at you and a man declaring he's never been to Virginia. <laughs> I'll say, uh, whoa, 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 now. What we got going on here? Well, uh, he's dressed like, uh, is he Is he dressed like us? Like, is he a, he's in a pretty Yes, uniform? he is, but his... He is, okay. but his suit is strangely like much cleaner than anyone That's cool. else's. But but we can tell that he's a prisoner too, though. Yes. Who is okay? Yeah. That's cool. Well, he would That's still cool. be manacled and all that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he does have manacles on. Yeah. Oh yeah, he didn't get out of. Okay, let's. We, we can probably get him out of those. Yeah. Uh, does this? I'm gonna have a. Yeah, I'm gonna apologize. Sort of protuberance? Do you? Oh, a bone. I think. Doesn't no, Arnold the bone broke. Uh, the monkeys actually let us go. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The monkeys true. found the keys. Yeah. Yes. I miss a lot. They huh? still have the keys. If you, if you want to take some time to find it, you can. And. Uh, yeah, and me... if you want out of those those uh those bracelets, you have to go talk to the monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we don't actually. Work for the cow. We, don't actually, we don't actually have the key. <laughs> Yeah, I the gotta, monkeys do. I gotta go talk to some monkeys. <laughs> Wait, the monkeys, the monkeys. Well, they work for the cow, so you might have to work out something with the cow. Oh, where's this goddamn cow? <laughs> She's in charge. It, it, it's the one up front that looks like a cow. <laughs> you see a large cow, agile of body and mind. 
Uh, it has one <laughs> horn that looked that sharp, and another one that sort of much shorter, and it looks like it's almost been smoothed over to where maybe some sort of um, prosthetic is attached. I'm gonna. Or you have a dog, right? Not anymore. No character. character. I'm a whole different thing. Okay. I'm okay. just a fancy dressed gentleman I who would fell asleep and did die. Like he doesn't sleep. give a shit. Yeah. Like he, it's just another another uh, you know tall monkey to me. So like I'm just gonna keep on walking. Just another tall monkey to me. What's that? I like that. Cow. Come on. No. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> I want to walk up and pet him. <laughs> okay, you're you're petting the baboon or are you petting the cow? Cow. Okay. I say, hey man, I heard you can. Uh, I heard you can get me out of these. I'm gonna go. Who has the Vaseline? Because that's how you guys got out of them. That is how. Yeah, that's how I got out. Yeah, I've got the Vaseline still. Who has the tub of Vaseline? Oh, my character does. I'm just gonna like nod my head towards him. Oh, you want me to let him out? Well, all right. <laughs> I heard that. You able to? Okay. You able to help out an honest man? Well, uh, you, you gotta grease yourself up real good. I don't know if you got any practice with that, but uh, here, get one. <laughs> <laughs> also, Corey, you have pomade, which could be used for the same thing, really. Oh, that's true. I do that for my hair. Yeah, you, you need that. You don't want to waste good pomade yeah, on wanna... uh, No. <clears throat> oh, thank that's you, more like a, you know, like a last-ditch you know, yeah. thing if there's no other option. Yeah. Let me see if oh. this let me see if this greases me up. Yeah, make an agility test. Or not agility. What is it? Slick? Uh, slick. Earl 20? Yeah. Yeah. Slick. Okay. No, I got three. Oh, you're just not lubed up enough. For some reason, the Vaseline, the Vaseline is like having a weird counteraction with the pomade that's on your hand, like that's on your hand, because you have some left over. You were a little careless earlier because you were being arrested and all. Yeah, and you storm forgot out. to wipe it off. <laughs> so they're kind of so it's more it's more like making just a sticky mess on your hands, which we've all been there. <laughs> Gonna spit on him. Good idea. That's another tried and true tactic. <laughs> and what do I roll? Slick. Make Slick. <laughs> roll dice Slick. money and make another. <laughs> I got a nine. <laughs> All right. Well, you just first you spit on it and it just not coming off. I, I tell you what. All right, Burl. Why don't you grab one hand? I'll grab the other. What do you just pull? We can do that. I don't yep. know if that's a good idea. <laughs> let I'll, I'll, let I'll, try I'll, something I'll else. I'll nervous professionally. I'll put it back on. <laughs> are you guys really going to try this? Yeah, can we make a grip test? Yeah. Wait, wait, grip, dogs? right? Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, no, nice. no, 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 no. No, no, we got it. We got this. It's okay. That is a 20. That was an 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. <laughs> With grit and determination and unparalleled physical might, they managed to tear your manacles in two. So oh. they're still attached to your wrists, but the chains are gone. They've been Perfect. snapped. I want some Wonder Woman and Gone Flicks. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, so if you hit someone... If you hit someone with your manacles, it'll deal an extra point of damage. Nice. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. I'm impressed with you guys' Gaston-like strength. Yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you all. Thank you all. Well, so. I, well, I want to be outdone by a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the um, Speaking of which, the baboons mourn the loss of their dead comrade, but they put two little uh, nuggets of feces over its eyes like this, oh. like they do. Like, 
like coins for the ferryman. And uh, then they go on into the next room. When they open the door, you guys can smell a very pungent stew being cooked. Okay. Pungent, good or bad? Um, roll a die and tell me what you get. 17. Uh, it smells very savory and tasty to you. Ooh, someone's going to stew. Who you are feeling um, the might package? How how big is this? Are we like in a in in a line, or can we like stand next to each other? <clears throat> how big is the you know? Um, two people base? can stand next. Two people can stand next to each other and fit okay. through the doorway. Okay, who uh, is the is the cow leading? Yeah. Or okay. I mean, it's working so like I think with like a baboon in tow, right? With the right, the cow and the baboon, like next to you with the keys, yep. just in case. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just trying to keep track of what's what I'm doing. What's going I, on that's here? That's just what I was picturing anyway. I mean, yeah, cool, you know, cool. Theater Sounds of good. the mind and all. It's, I mean, I guess it's open to interpretation. Yeah, I was trying to do the same thing. You know, try to keep it in my head, a picture going. Yeah. On. You're like, what a coincidence, asshole. I was doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so as you as you guys enter this room, you you hear all the clinking and clanking of like piles and piles of um you know, glass jars and tin cans and what have you. Um there are some precarious looking shelves in this car, but they rattle a lot. And they're sagging under the weight of uh, wooden boxes full of strange vegetables and dried uh, meat, salted meats. Um, oh, my gosh, keep going. But you can, <laughs> but you can hear um, the voice of a, of a woman um, kind of cursing under her breath and clanging pots and pans around. Um, she hasn't noticed you, but uh, if you look through, there's a woman wearing an apron and she is chopping up ingredients and putting them in the stew. Okay. Right into the room and go up to these crates of strange vegetables and see if they got any greens on them I can dip at. <laughs> any greens okay um roll a wits test oh i'm sorry actually no not wit i'm sorry luck. uh roll a d10 and add your luck Uh, eight. Okay. Uh, as you are looking around, you find some kind of withered looking. You find two will, or actually, roll a d4. Okay. Three. So you find three withered carrots. I'm just going to eat them. All right. You're going to eat all three of them? Yep. I'm a cow. Okay. <laughs> all right. So go ahead. Why not? Eat them. And uh, roll a D2. Or just roll any die. And if it's, if it's odds, it's one. If it's evens, it's two. Evens. Okay, so you regain uh, two lost HP if you have damage done to you. Which I think you do, because then you hurt your leg. Huh? Are you good potatoes or what? Oh, you're eating that ramen. I thought you were eating the potatoes. No. no, I didn't take any damage from it because the guy healed me up or whatever. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
Probably. Yeah. Well, never mind then. Now you at least have some food in die. your in your belly. Um. Uh, is, is that it? It? So if or just regular? What's that? Let's see. It's like a sentient cow or just a regular cow. Oh. Regular cow. Regular cow. He's just it's a cow with a plan. So uh, we're just following it. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. I'm sure they're smarter than we think they are. Exactly. Um, everybody, since everybody's in the room now, everyone make a wits test. Actually, Ooh. no. Who, actually, wait. What is everyone's wits bonus? Who has the highest bonus? I have plus I one. Yeah, plus one. What's it's everybody zero. else's wits? Zero. Minus two. Oh, you're dumber than I am. Good luck. <laughs> Jordan's got plus two. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, smart. Smart. smart one of the bunch. There you go. Well, then Jordan should be the one. Yeah. So, okay. So the high person with the highest bonus. So Jordan, go ahead and roll a, um, a uh, was a wits. Yeah, roll a wits test. Wits. Our puppet's not level. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So as everyone's kind of standing in this uh, doorway of this cart and examining the different cans and jarred foods, um, you notice running around the corner is a shaggy mop-like little dog bearing its little yellow fangs and running <laughs> straight at the cow's leg. Shit. What will you do? You may mm -hmm. react before. before I'm trying to grab it, and like you don't a... see. You didn't notice. No, she did. Oh no, she okay. Yeah, Leodora notices the dog. I want to kick it. Okay, make a go ahead and roll a grit test. Grit. Six. Six? Dang. Okay. So you try to kick the little dog, but it is surprisingly quick. Uh, let me grab... Well, actually, someone roll a d4 for me. I got it. No, I don't. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I got one here. Okay. Um, one. Okay. So, Chris, you didn't see this little mop dog <clears throat> coming, and it surprise attacks you, biting you on the ankle for one point of damage. <laughs> Is it a Yorkie? Shit. No, it's a, it's some sort of, um, like, some sort of hybrid of toy poodle and some sort of, you know, Ewok dog. <laughs> Ewok. Can it be? Yeah. Oh, what a, oh, what a precious baby! But the dog bites the cow. The dog bites the cow on the leg, and just starts barking crazily. The baboons start shrieking. Shit! And the woman who is cooking stew whirls around and screams, and then jumps down behind shelf. Behind the shelf? Wait, it, yeah. so she's she's still in this cart with us then? Yes, but she just moved behind the shelf. She's like putting okay. the shelf between her and you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think I I feel like I would attack this. I want to shoot the dog. I feel like okay. that's uh, I feel like that's what I would have done. Yeah, I, it sounds yeah. bad to say, but I mean... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah it's attacked it's our friend. It's already tasted... It's already tasted oh, blood. It's, <laughs> it's a man eater now. It's a killer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a cow eater. It's a cow. I have had an actual um, off wait, <laughs> What do I add for uh for my gun? What am I adding? Slick. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a plus zero, so thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. All right. Roll that beautiful dog killing damage. What it this is a revolver? What is it? A D six? Uh, 
Okay. A D six, and then if you roll a six, you roll another D six. So now that's oh, nice. Two. Okay. Yeah, this is the revolver that I found. How many bullets do I have? Roll a D six after this, and okay. First, out. I'll shoot him. So that's a that's a three. Okay. Well, you um, blast this little dog to kingdom come. Uh-oh. <laughs> and he gives one final yelp before rolling violently across the floor. Um, the woman lets out another scream. Uh, but you hear her rummaging around. I'm going to tell her to watch it. Take it easy. Stand up slow. Okay, she stops rummaging around. She stands up. She has her hands up, and in one hand, you see that she has a shotgun, but she's just holding it. Okay, she drops it. She has her hands (laughs) like this. Can I interject or do anything? Yeah, go ahead. Come on, come on now. Come on now, lady. (laughs) We're just trying to get through here. She says, I don't want, she says, I don't want any trouble. I'm just a cook. We don't want, I don't want no either. either. Let me just see that gun. Make sure it's okay. She nudges it. She, since she dropped it, she nudges it across the floor to you with her foot. I'll pick it up. All Unthre- right. So you have a. What's that? Un- what did you say? I can't hear him. Am I the only one that can't hear him? No, I can't hear him either. I'm going to pick it up without threatening her. I'm going to calmly pick it up. Okay. All right. So um, add a shotgun, a sawed off shotgun to your inventory. Um, Let me go back to the guns table real quick. It's a D6 or a D4, and you could use, or you could do 2D4 if you shoot both barrels. There you go. Because that's what I had originally, but I didn't, you know, I don't have it on me. Yeah. But it's a sawed-off shotgun. So it's a it's a 1D4, but if you use if you shoot both barrels at once, it's a 2D4. Yeah. Ooh. All right. I and, have and roll a D4, and that's how many slugs you have. Damn D4. But, you know, you can find more later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't cry about it. (laughs) Corey searching for his dice. He's trying to find out how many slugs he has for his new gun. He's going to kiss it on the head and call it his wife. Yeah, yeah. What did you say about my wife? I said you're going <laughs> to kiss that, that gun on the barrel and call it your wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> my wife is a double barrel shotgun, if she's anything. <laughs> she's a, that chair is a real double barrel, I tell you. Mm. <laughs> At work, our office manager calls her little bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Like, this isn't right, and I'm going to tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. It's a good way to be. Um, okay, so did you roll for your shells? And Evan, did you roll for your... Um, for yeah, your, uh, I, I had a five. Okay, all right. So I assume cool. that I shot one of them, and now I have four, right? Is that what we were yes. going for? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> The lady tells you she doesn't. She just wants you to go. She doesn't want any trouble, and she just wants to be left alone. And she even tells you she doesn't even care about that dog because the dog was mean as hell and it pissed oh, all oh, over. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna take the was. dog with me. <laughs> oh, I it. forgot your taxidermist. Oh, yeah, it's okay. yeah it's I want. Go um, and... I'm gonna take the dog corpse. You yeah. said this. You said this. The soup smells good and savory. Yeah. I want to. I want a bowl. I want some, like, I want to eat some. <laughs> yeah. I'm low, I'm down four hit points right already. So, oh, yeah. I, I'm trying, yeah. I want to see if I can. Uh... <laughs> yeah, eat some and then roll um, a D2 and then that'll heal you. 
that'll be another <laughs> that'll be another spittoon sound effect that'll be added in later <laughs> in, po- in post. Anyway, so um, how much health did you heal? Oh, once one. or twice. I rolled. <clears throat> I rolled a one. One. see it's five. Easy. So I'm at oh, I'm at five now. So I'm uh, it's uh, not too bad. Okay. Yeah. I'm at four. And then if anyone yeah. else wants to eat some stew to rejuvenate their health, they can. Oh, what I'd I like to do is uh, my mask or no? What? I'm already at four. I'm at max HP. So I don't need to stew. Jordan, do you have are you at full health? What? Are you at full health? Uh no, because I got bit by an old lady, but I don't know where I'm at. Oh yeah. Because our um character sheets didn't save our edits last time. Oh shit. Yeah. Well I, a, I unarmed like strike. She probably only took like one or two damage I think from, a, from an three. unarmed attack. I'm at, I think I'm at three out of five is what I think I should be at, if I remember, okay. but Fuck if I remember. Okay. Well, uh, if you want to eat some stew, you can eat some stew to yeah. rejuvenate your health. And you can roll a D2, which is just any die. And then if it's odds, you heal one HP. And if it's evens, you heal two. I know it's not a lot, but it's... That's odd. You know. So I heal one. I know it's not a lot, but it's not a lot. <laughs> Alice can't eat stew. You can't eat stew. Uh, well, you ate some carrots, though. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing. That was the me. carrots made you worse. Did I eat the carrots? Carrots make you worse. I ate the carrots before the dog bit me, though. Is the thing. I was at full health then. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you've got like multiple stomachs. All you have to do is regurgitate it and then eat it. Oh yeah, there you go. Do that. Yeah, Shoot, make a cut. Out some okay, cut. so yes, yeah, actually yes, because this was this was going to be one of the features I was going to give the cow if it were. When I was going to make it for regular Morph Board, mm-hmm. and it was going to be that you could make a toughness test to, if you if you had drank a potion or something that heals you, you could make a toughness test to have that effect happen again. That's probably oh, grit, then, right? Yeah, it'd be grit. Toughness would be good. grit. So, so roll this so I was going to Chris, if you want, Chris, if that's you want neat, to roll though. A that's a good test, idea. Okay, I will that's what I do it. But... I told everybody to know, don't get attached to the cow because the cow has two hit points max. So, <laughs> oh my god. You're Notice. the most sickly cow. We will avenge your death if something happens. Absolutely. If you die, I will wear you like a Real suit. Cow, you only have two. Oh, you have hey. I know, and I rolled really, really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying the cow. I, made, I specifically okay. made the cow to be literally beefy and <laughs> I should have just given you max hit points is why I should have done. I'm sorry. It's okay. Meant to be right. walked out there and then she was very mad about it being. Rit test, it, I failed. It's a five. <clears throat> five. You mm-hmm. tried to regurgitate it, but it you just can't do it. Can't make yourself do it right now. Maybe you can try again later. Or you can try and eat some stew if you'd like, although you might have some trouble digesting it. But you can definitely make another Grit test to try to eat the stew if you want. Why can't cows eat stew? He disappeared. Well, I mean, they're cows, not really cows they're eat herbivores. grass, man. Yeah, they're herbivores. They don't want to eat meat. Like they're it's not good for them. They're just, they got they're just not I used to. Yeah, I mean, cows sometimes do eat. You I know, see. They it might supplement like, their diet yeah. with like a, it, a baby chicken or something. Eat it, but. but... <laughs> It wouldn't kill them, but it wouldn't like do them any good. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It, it'd be more like if they if there was something and they weren't getting enough of something in their diet, then they might scavenge or something like that. You yeah, know I mean, I understand. a I lot could... of herbivores are like that. Yeah, yeah, but they're just not normally used to eating that type of thing, so they might have some trouble with it. Maybe. Come here, Rinnabee. All right, I'd like to look for a jar that's mostly empty and then fill it the rest of the way with stew. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, roll a little, little, little D6. Two. 
you find two empty jars. You could also just dump some of the shit out of these jars. I don't worry about it. it. It's, it was edible before. It's edible now. Yeah. So go ahead and fill however many that so you want and add that many stew. jars of stew. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. We should take some with us. Seal it tight. You never know when you come across stew, stew and uh, the longer it sits in the jar, the better it gets. I can't argue with that. <laughs> I feel like that is true with stew. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's a stew fact, actually. It, it is, is, yeah. Stew, it's, yeah it's all, it, it gets all like, uh, kind of chunky and then it ferments. Then you get like stew liquor, which is best. Mmm. Do I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's kind, of, it's kind of a meaty brine. Fuck. <laughs> a, little, a little spicy. Beanie brine. Man knows it. Beanie brine with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys have some fun in the old stew cart. Are you guys... The woman is still very scared and upset. Uh, she just wants you guys to leave. Yeah. Um. You, you said there were some jars? Or did he just have yes. empty jars with him? Yeah, I want to take he at least two, one jar of stew with us. One, he found two empty ones, but there are like... Multi, like there are... Oh, sure. Many, What's it? Many jars of different like... Yeah. Beets some, and pickles and things like that yeah i'll just take the beets and you know sit them on the counter and then yeah fill a jar with stew also just okay. just in case for later how many jars are you gonna do that with playa um i'm trying to make sure i can carry it all uh let's go with let's just go with two okay yeah so go ahead and add that to your inventory i'm gonna calm her down Make a slick test. I got 17. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So you managed to talk to her. You find out her name is LaBarbara. LaBarbara? Um, yeah. And you make her feel a lot better about the situation. And, and uh, she doesn't feel as nervous. Um she doesn't feel like her life is in danger now, but she yeah. says that she doesn't. But she said she doesn't want to lose her job. So, if if it's all right with you, she'll just pretend like, yeah, uh, you know, she didn't talk to you guys or anything. Absolutely. Like, just come on now. It's all right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Some people frequently, people frequently like, pretend they never met me, so uh, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> We're gonna get what we need. We're gonna head on out. The monkeys um, kind of start raiding her pantry, and she looks very <laughs> like upset again because now she's got this new problem. Chris, are you I going don't... to stop them or are you going to let them be? Oh, they're his monkeys? At some yeah. point, someone said a beat on a counter, and I'm going to eat that beat. <laughs> okay. Eat it and heal. A D2. Oh, nice. Back to full health. I don't have to roll because I can only go. Oh, two. yeah. Duh, I forgot. You've only got two. Yeah, health. two is maximum. So there you go. Yeah, he's yeah. full. <laughs> She's full. Man, I, I'm just imagining a cow that only has two HP. Like what that would look like. Just <laughs> emaciated <laughs> as hell. You know. Well, it's full just bony ass just... cow that's just like, no. <laughs> Very sad. Those cows are kind of skinny cows. That's true. They are. Yeah. They're yeah. like they are. Yeah. <laughs> kind of bony. Yeah. Um. So okay. Well, so what are you guys gonna do now? Uh. Does anyone want to do anything before you leave? Are you gonna let? Are gonna, you know, Is get your you? monkeys come with you? Or the I think the baboons are just gonna stay in there okay. for now. Unless you want them to go with you. I see. Here's the thing. I don't feel like my cow really knows that 
what she's doing. I don't, I feel like she's just being a cow and like these things are just kind of like accidentally happening. Like she mood and it just yeah. happened to do the right thing, but, like got everybody riled up. But I don't even think yeah. she was, I think she's just wandering through a train. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what that I figured. Sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's all an accident. <laughs> I'm going to keep on wandering if these animals want to keep on following me. They will, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, if she's going on to the next cart, which is what I want to do anyway, <laughs> then yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> we're going. Okay, all right. So you guys head on to the next cart. Oh, you, uh, wait, before you, we leave, I've got a skill called false identity. I'd like to make a roll to have her forget who I am, or confuse me <laughs> with somebody else. Okay, all right. Nice. Go for it. Uh, I'm assuming that's a slick roll. I'm going to say yes. All right. And I get advantage because I have a skill in it. So, it didn't make any difference. I got a three. Never mind. <laughs> well, Even no one well, cares. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, yeah, I'm talking about that. Were you talking? Wait, what, were, what did you say, Corey? What were you saying to your dog? I said, quit it. Oh, oh then, so I said, sorry, I'm just talking to my dogs because Oh, I thought I thought Kevin thought that you were telling him to quit it. Oh no, 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 no. Cece's got a new rubber toy and she's growling at Mrs. B for some reason and it's just everything's unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um let's see here. Let me bring that back up really quick. I need it for the map. Okay. Um all right, so you guys open this door and it smells very sterile. Uh, it smells like a hospital. Um, there are metal sh metal shelves with uh, glass jars of like fetal animals. Um, there is like a strange taxidermied fox with wings. Uh, there's a whole bunch of surgical supplies and at the opposite end of the room, you see a big steel table with sort of large um, feathered creatures on it. And there's a tall, older man who's hunched over with um, oh. one of those old timey medical head doctors, like mirror things on his right. head. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's got like a mask and he's got on gloves and he's covered in blood. Dang. Okay. So this guy's freaking my cow out for sure. Like, yeah. This. I think mm -hmm. I'm just going to charge him. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, go ahead and make a grit test. Yeah, I'm throwing like shit tonight. Um,. Don't forget, you can use an ace to re-roll. I am going to do so. Okay. Because I will tell you that since his back is turned and he's busy at work, Early. the DR is lower than it would be normally to attack him. Feathered creatures. Here's the thing, my grit's a negative two. And I rolled a six twice. Man, Damn. you really are the you are the most sickly cow in the world. Okay, <laughs> so here's what, so here's what happened. Shouldn't we have two aces at this point? So we ended with one last time, and then we got a twenty this time. Yeah, yes, Ed, yes, you're right. Everyone should have two. So if you want to reroll this oh. one, you can. If you I want will. to use your last one, if oh, it, that another six. I mean, that's pretty metal, but like. <laughs> <laughs> to do something. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, eight. All right. Okay, so here's what happens. You go barreling towards this uh, surgeon and he hears your hooves clattering against the floor. He turns around and he like screams and throws his hands up as you go charging past him and you crash into the medical table and knock the feathered creature onto the ground. Um, <laughs> oh, also shit. make uh, 
make a uh, make a slick test. Virginia. Hey. Virginia. This cow's meant to die tonight, guys. I got a two. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you got a two? Yeah. Okay, so you fall over and are just prone on the ground, your legs up in the air. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Um, and the doctor says, good. He says, good heavens, what on earth? Freeze. And he like, has a scalpel in his hand and he drops it onto the floor. Um, the feathered creature starts to get up off the ground. Oh, and you see it's a you see it's a strange hybrid of woman and eagle. Oh my gosh, she created a fucking monster. Sounds like my ex-wife. And he turns and, and the, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the surgeon turns around and just with a fluid movement, the eagle creature swipes at his stomach and tears <gasps> the apron free. And the, the doctor's gut spill out onto the floor. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. The eagle turns towards you and lets out this horrible screech and then goes charging in the opposite direction through the doors. Breaks what breaks the doors open and just goes running into the next Oh. Door. Okay, cool. So it doesn't attack us. Okay. That's fine. I'm alright with I'm uh, alright with yeah. this. <laughs> it deserves it. Like that's where it should go. I um I would like to look around. You said there was like tools and stuff on the tables. I want to see something that I can turn into a serviceable weapon. Same. Okay. Well well, as you guys are looking around, you hear the old man crying pitifully. He's going, Come here, please. Ah. I will approach very slowly. I'm not gonna get close enough for him to touch me. And I'm gonna keep my uh, pistol trained on him. He points. He points to the floor by the table, and you see that there was a metal tray that got upturned when mm -hmm. Chris crashed into it, and uh, there are four scarlet sil uh, syringes on the ground. Hmm. Okay. He's gesturing towards them. I what. I'm gonna look at the rest of the group. What are they? What do you guys think? Uh, well, I ain't never worked on nothing live before, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> I, I'm, pretty sure, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the pokey end goes inside. I will uh, pass one over to him, like nudge it with my foot. Okay. Well, he he. Pulls he very weakly and shakily grabs the syringe, then pulls his shirt down and injects the syringe into his heart and pushes the plunger down. And as he does that, he spasms for a moment and then his his entrails retract into his body and his <laughs> skin heals back to its original non injured state. Neat. And he catches his breath and he goes, Oh, thank you. Thank you. And he like helps him. He pulls himself up to um to his feet, and he's like, "Oh, that was one of my experiments. I'm working Indeed. on something very revolutionary." I want to take one of these syringes for myself. Same. He I says, mean, oh, "How, much, he how says, much can you grow back if we if we like shoot off more of you? Does he grow back?" <laughs> he he says he says um. You can all you can have the three remaining syringes if you, uh, if you help him with retrieving his um, his experiment. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, well, so what's uh, <laughs> what are you doing in here now? He says, "Oh, I'm working on something." Uh, revolutionarily, or revolutionary. It'll be, it'll be the new biggest thing. It'll be the next step in human evolution. Oh my god! Okay, how? What'd you say, Corey? I said, okay, how? He says, have you ever wanted wanted to swim through the waves 
like a mighty manta ray. Have you ever wanted to dig beneath the earth's soil like some sort of powerful mole? Have you ever wanted to see things in the ultraviolet spectrum like a crusty old scorpion? He said, no. well, have you? No, no, that never occurred. I have not. <laughs> I want to no. move to him in a way that will hurt his feelings. <laughs> okay, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Make a make a wits test. A mood check. <laughs> yes. Got a ten. Damn. So you moo at him, and he just doesn't even listen. But he says, mm, "That cow m might make a great experiment, or so a, no and a great specimen for me to experiment on." She's not a specimen. She's with us. He goes, but, well, at any rate, he says, will you help me? He says, these syringes, but they revitalize the, the body and, and suture bone or suture wounds and set bones. We don't have to say this out loud or tell him this, but like we can just take them from him anyway. What's he going <laughs> to do? Say that out loud. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Good. That's a very I'm good gonna... point. <laughs> I want to say, uh, hey, what's your what's your end game here? He says, "Why to transform the populace into, into the new the new man?" We could kill him. <laughs> yeah, I want to. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop you if you try. <laughs> what kind of new man? <laughs> <laughs> he says <laughs> he says a man with power beyond your imagination a living god or something dramatic like that you know yeah good night baby thank you that wasn't part of the game <laughs> <laughs> am I losing my mind he must be from Virginia I heard, they, I heard they get all this kind of stuff in Virginia yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. You want to say that to him? Mm -hmm. He says, well, fine, then. Then leave without my syringes. I'll do it myself. I think we'll take the syringes anyway. He says, what? I think you heard me. And he like, he bends down slowly to try and pick up. <laughs> I just realized that you were pointing that at me. He bends down slowly to try and pick up um, his scalpel off the floor. I'm going to fire. Shoot, or, well, I mean, if someone else wants to do something too, but I'm going to shoot at him. Who's closest? I feel like I, I am I was talking to him. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you were standing up there and I was like, kind of back further so uh, i'm just gonna punch him right in the fucking head fuck yeah <laughs> okay so make a grit test i imagine Corey's character fighting like this <laughs> i think so hey, i'm sitting good day. Day. good oh, day I, sir <laughs> i got 17 <laughs> all right um so what let's see i think what's the damage for unarmed i can't remember is it a D2? I think it's a D2. I don't know. Usually like six or something and anything else we play, but yeah, I don't remember. I it is in there uh as like it's under the I'm like... pretty sure it's a D2. It's either a D2 or a D4 in this. I, I rolled a, a three on a D4. We can go with that. All right, that's fine with me. All right, so you punch him um and you hit him with your manacles. And which is a plus one, goes, yeah. And so, so you hit him for four, then and he goes, oh, 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 actually, I would just say I would make it be a d4 anyway because you're hitting him with the manacles. Oh, uh, and that would be like an improv, that would be like okay. an improvised weapon. It's one plus half grit rounded up, whatever that is. Okay, means. oh, but he was hit, but then he was hitting him with the with the um. So light with melee the, weapon, uh, D full. So I'm just about weapon though. Know what I mean? I clocked him. Yeah, because I think that's a D four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, D four. 
Yeah, yeah. light melee weapon is a D4. Okay. So, okay, so you hit him and he falls yeah. down the earth. He goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and he lays down, he lays down on, he falls down on the floor. And he just kind of, he curls into a fetal position. Let's just pick up the syringes and go. <laughs> um, he says, you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. <sighs> I don't know question. I'll be like, why? Should we kill him? <laughs> why are we going to be sorry, sir? So he's on the ground. He just mutters. He just mutters to himself and doesn't say anything else to you that you can hear. He's just muttering under his breath. I don't this, keep man, this man clearly just wants to fucking duck and not feel bad about it. So, I mean, society's probably going to judge him. <laughs> I want to go stomp on him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cow kill. Um, so go ahead and roll. Uh, you don't have to make. Actually, yes. Go ahead and roll um, a grit test, just because. Well, you'll find out if you don't succeed in this attack. See, I got my dice tower. I roll better with the dice tower. I just got a fucking twenty. Woo. Oh shit! Nice. Okay. So we have. So eights. everybody so add an ace. Tower. Everybody, get, everybody gets an ace. What's that mean? Uh, it's, it's just like, like an, an omen. omen, except for you can only use it to re-roll. But if if someone rolls a natural twenty, everybody gets a new one, like gets an extra one. But if anyone rolls a natural one, everybody loses one. Oh my god, I had no idea. All right, I'll put that down. Thank you. All right, now Chris, uh, roll two d four. Because I was gonna have the trampling just be d four, but since it's a critical, it's double damage. Did you guys see that video I sent of that cow stealing shoes? Dude, that, oh, was, that, that. was great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. I'll have to check it out later. So it's it's silly. <laughs> she just like stepped right into it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Cows are great. Two damage. Oh. Uh, two damage? That's your two D four. One and one. Yeah. Or does it? Uh, uh, dang. Well, there you go. Well, you're okay. a sickly cow, so I guess. <laughs> a little cow, yeah. But it looks so, impressive. So you. So here's what happens: you go over and step on him, but you just Dan, yeah. you just step, you stomp really hard on his foot and break, or not his foot, his hand, and break every bone in his hand. And he just <laughs> screams. And he says, "I'll never." He says, "No, my life as a surgeon is ruined." Good. Okay. Oh, oh, so yeah, yeah, you're gonna need these tools then, right? So I don't have to feel bad about taking them. Good enough. I, I take all the extra every tools. Damn you to hell, you wretched bovine! <laughs> oh, you said you're taking his tools. Oh, he ain't gonna use them now. His life is ruined. That's true. It is ruined. Uh, okay, so <laughs> go ahead and add um, uh, surgical tools. Nice. He can probably, what? I mean, n with not not like as well as uh, like as regular surgeon, but he can probably patch up a wound or something too. As a taxidermist, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Like, like you said, you never tr practiced on a living person before, but you know, man, no, no that's not very good. I yeah, can exactly. express dog. I could probably patch you up. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, that, absolutely. That's the whole point. That's what I love about how this game handles skills because like that would be an example of you utilizing one of, you know, like even though it's not conventionally what you could, you know, what you would use it for, you can. You, know, yeah. you can use those taxidermy skills in a medical fashion. So, yes, like I love that idea. As long as I craft um, animals. Because I only have craft items from animals. So I'd craft like a bandage. <laughs> Something for battle. Yeah. <laughs> Some sort of Crafting leather band. Craft a graft from a uh, fresh animal corpse. Yeah. You oh my god, it. what if someone had what if someone had a wound and Kevin just stitched an animal pelt over the wound? Perfect. That'd work. <laughs> would work. It would get so infected. I I Oh yeah. Definitely. I actually love that idea. 
<laughs> I actually love that idea. If it's been I cleaned, think... if it's been cleaned and sanitized, it would be the same as just like a bandage. Well, like people a... do. Well, doctors do use like different animal skins for grafts. Like I think, grafts and so, stuff. Like oh, yeah. skin and stuff. <laughs> That'd be the best. If only yeah. I had my jar of coyote urine to sterilize the surface. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. We're gonna we're gonna need to get our stuff back. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah. an advantage on that for me because I am an animal. Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. Or or if it was an advantage, it would be like the dr would be significantly lower. You know. <laughs> we'll keep going as long as we can. So yeah, I feel like I feel like Kevin's going to end up being like the doctor of the group. Perfect. <laughs> Old Doc Firebug. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so you guys took the syringes. You ruined this man's career. Uh, beating him up. Uh, are you guys doing anything else before you leave, or is that good? That's pretty good. I don't have a cutout. Yeah, I say we leave him. Yeah. Okay. It didn't if, if I see your duck lady, I'll say hi. <laughs> Okay, so we, you guys go into the next room, and it smells uh, of bo and blood, fresh blood, and you hear flies buzzing around. There are six guard corpses, and they're mutilated beyond recognition. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Their eyes are gouged out. One of them's bottom jaw is missing. One of them's like been he's been impaled with his own arm bone, like they were just completely massacred. Brutal. Yeah. Okay. Do they have anything of you slaying around? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, yes. Roll two d six. Two d six. And let me consult the the table. That is going to be uh, 52. 52 Kalamazoo. You found 3D4 Kalamazoo's. No, hang on a second. <laughs> 3D4 <four> Kalamazoo's? <laughs> and you win the game. Yay! <laughs> it was 51. They're like, they're like kazoos, but they're double barrel. Five, yeah, two. double barrel oh, kazoos! Man. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna throw it and like, <laughs> oh, oh, what did you? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, but I, 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 52. 52. Yeah. Oh, roll that, roll that again. That's that old flip lighter. Ooh, right. That flip lighter. Oh, right on, right on. That's cool, man. Hold on a second. So that is. Away. Uh, 51. You know what? All right, fine. Fuck it. You find a lighter also. What? Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my cigarettes. They took... No, wait. Shit, hold Gentlemen, on. No, I don't have cancer. my cigarettes. They took my cigarettes, too. When they hey, but roll, but roll a me. die. Hey, roll a die and tell me if you get odds or even. Okay. Oh, odds. Okay, you find a pack of Four cigarettes. Oh dang, nice. I'm smoking one right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And they took them bowling. earlier. Yeah. I'm gonna be bowing some for my next game. <laughs> <laughs> I've if got you a pack smoke of a cigarette, I have hey, a pack of smoke, sixteen. So if you smoke I, a I cigarette, can... here's here's what the effect of a cigarette will do. If you smoke a cigarette, you get plus one on your next roll, but you uh, take like the next like endurance based test you have to roll. Um, the DR is higher. Okay, nice. Or at that's... least that's the best I can come up with off the top of my head. Right yeah, on. Yeah, I didn't know if there was anything in the book about it or not, but that was what I rolled. So, pack of cigarettes. Uh, in <laughs> so... some game, I can't remember what it was. There's some game that where if you smoke, it like gives you a temporary bonus yeah. to something, but then like it gives you a penalty to like. Your health. Uh, Cyborg right. had some stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Fallout. Um, All right. Dude. Red Dead Redemption has something like that too. 
get a booth. Oh, really? I, I really want to play that sometime. I've their never played it, but I've heard really good things. In their version, it would of... probably give me a bonus to my slick or something like that because it's like they call it Dead Eye, is what they call it, but it's like Dex. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, that makes sense. Like your um, dexterity stuff. Yeah. Okay, so uh, bu- 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 yeah, that's all you. you know, it's not really a lot. Like everything's just cool. kind of this. This whole, yeah, everything's torn apart. Probably, yeah. Yeah, and there are cells, um, but they're all open and empty. There's nobody. There aren't any other prisoners in here. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, and that's all you find is the dead guards in there. There aren't. There's nobody else in here. <laughs> okay. You can see though. Um, you can see though that there are like uh, slits in the the sides of the um, of this car where sunlight is pouring through. Okay. But other than that, it's pretty dark. In so, did the creature probably move on to the next cart? Probably. Anyway, with that, with uh, all that being said, I have been Condor. <laughs> I'm Crow, and uh, yeah, this is a thing we did. Yeah, I'm so a, join us for the next Winslet. one. Keep your mm-hmm. wick lit. Is that what you said? No, I said I'm Mr. Winslet. Mr. Pitt. <laughs> I thought you said keep your wick lit. <laughs> well, that too. Keep your wick lit. <laughs> so long and good night. Good night. Oh.